Okay, thank you for those, Martin. As I pushed you out of the comments box, you go and have a petit poire or more for race 32, and it's the Francois de Guenet, grade 3 handicap. Here at Oi Toi. So number one is Tip Top for Joshua Sutherland. Two, Dance Wave, Pontypool Racing. Guns for Hire for Davy Ladd. Hidden Sands for Beckwith. Farmire Blue for Vinnie Gerrard. Extreme Valiant for Martin Leedham. And a letter for Derek Hinton. Final Termination for Paul Rhodes. Fiddle D D and Billy Bodden Tapper for Thomas Rogers. Laser Clarity for Paul O'Neill. And Shady Reflection for Ryan Costello. Make up 12. Let's go to this Grade 3 handicap. We've got no less than seven of the runners at running out of the handicap. Top weights are... Uh, 132, but then it's a grade 3 handicap. You'd expect horses around the 120s to 130 mark to be running, so maybe it's the 7 out of the handicap that shouldn't be here. <laughs> anyway, Star has dropped his flag and they're away here and they get straight to the first one at Oitoy. Everybody's got over it well. We're waiting to see what happens. It's coming out wide here with your dance wearing Extreme Valiant that are leading. Extreme Valiant's going to take us over the second. Well, he's over it, and it's extreme valiant in the centre of the course. Got a couple of lengths advantage now over Dance Way and a letter in the pink and final termination towards the fence alongside Laser Clarity. Now lengths back to the top weight, tip top. And we've got uh, Billy Bottom Tapper there, Faye May Blue. Gun for hire. Towards the rear, just hidden sounds, fiddle dee dee, and shady reflection. All over it, standing in the centre of the course is extreme valiant. They've done five of the hurdles now. Conditions uh, favouring them. Those moving over to the fence now as they're going to swing left handed. He's got a seven or eight length advantage from the grey Anna Letter, Fidel Hinton, the Hollywood uh, Maestro. And final termination for Paul Rhodes up against the fence is Laser Clarity. Out wide is Pontypool Racings. Um, what horse is that then? Dance away. And then there's a fair few back to gun for hire. So the chasing pack as they go over the 6 of the 16. It's still Extreme Valiant that leads us by about 5, 6, maybe to Analetta. Laser Clarity, Final Termination and Dance Away. And they're followed through by Gun for Hire. Tip Top still there against the fence towards us. Here's Faye May Blue for Vinnie Gerrard. And Thomas Rogers Horses, Fiddle Dee Dee and Billy Bodden Tapper together. And a couple of links back to Hidden Sands and Shady Reflection. And Ryan Costello. Reflection is. Oh, sorry, Hidden Sands. I think that's Mr. O'Neill's horse. But it's still Extreme Valiant. That's going to lead them past the winning post. A mile and a quarter to run. It's Extreme Valiant. Gets to the eighth. Jumps it well. And they all jump that really well. Good, really fast jump at the back there by Shady Reflection. But it's Extreme Valiant that leads. By about five to six to Anna Letter and Visa Clarity. And we've got Faye May Blue. Winner of, a hurt, uh, winner of a handicap hurdle last week. Vinnie Gerard. Out wide still having a quite a nice ride is Dance Away. Also final terminations having a good run. Not needed to ask anything. Everyone's just uh, tailing off a little bit now in Shady Reflection and Hidden Sands. But uh, it's a fair old gallop here from Extreme Valiant. The orange stilts of Martin Leadham. Less than a mile to travel. Takes the tenth. He's been jumping really well. And there's the remainder. Although he's taken a stride to now as uh, some challenges are coming forward. Final termination comes into the eleventh well. Gets over it well. Gets away better than the Extreme Valiant. He's under a little bit of pressure now to maintain his lead. So Extreme Valiant now with final termination on his outside. And a couple back to Analetta and Dance away. Faye May Blue and Laser Clarity towards the fence and still running on well. Gun for Hire still there. Tip top starting to make his move as well as Billy Vodden. I was Faye May Blue, sorry, dropping back. Or Billy Vodden Clapper, a trapper, I think. But the chunk gone over plenty of fences there that I've missed and the leaders changed a little bit. It's final termination takes us around this next bend with Extreme Valiant and Dance Away and a letter laser clarity. Faye May Blue out wide is gunfire. Tip Top's got a bit to do from there. Billy Body Tapper running very wide but it's still Extreme Valiant as they swing left handed. He had the route to his advantage but final termination sneaks his nose in front. Here comes laser clarity. These three are a couple of lengths away from Anna Letter and Faye May Blue and gunfire running on well on the outside but 
up front over the penultimate extreme valiant got away from it best and leads by half a length but coming back at him now is laser clarity final termination hasn't got a lot left extreme valiant's over it so is laser clarity these two are going neck and neck inside the final furlong but it's extreme valiant just by a nose but here comes laser clarity running on from the back now is fame blue and gun for hire but laser clarity takes it up inside the final half it's laser clarity just pulling away just about by half a length from extreme valiant in second a good win there for I'm not sure who's laser clarity uh, Mr Beckwith I think Beckwith stables I hope I've got it right a good win there from extreme valiant they're a good couple of lengths away from Paul Rhodes's final termination I think Holly Wood Hinton may have got up for fourth there and nosed his Anna letter up now let's wait for the card and my apologies for Paul O'Neill laser clarity uh, I thought it Mr. Beckworth, but that was Hidden Sounds. I've got you muddled up. Extreme Valiant for Martin Eden was second. Third was final ter termination for Paul Rhodes. Fourth was Tip Top for Joshua Slum, got up there well for the top weight. And fifth was Anna Letter for Derek Hinton.